Hey all, welcome to uh, episode 7 now of the Spotter's Guide. I know the uh, episodes have been coming pretty fast, but back into playing again. And uh, we just upgraded last night to uh, to 40, 48. Uh, ended up going to 48F, uh, had issues with the world, uh, just for general notice to everybody. 48F is not compatible with another. you literally have to delete the entire realm in order to get it to load. So... Don't go there, it will crash. Uh, don't have it in there, it will crash. So, aside from that though, uh, as you can see, I've finished off a bit of the roof here, and it's home to an Enderman right now. Um, right now, this is all placeholder. I'm not actually going to do it with the different types of wood, but I didn't have enough oak to actually do the entire thing uh, in, a, in a single material manner. So I'm just... There's been a pattern with um, with roofs that I saw in like a video of some tool somewhere where they just kind of edge in like this, and I've liked it ever since. So I went with that, and I just tried to find a way to fit it on top of the roof with um, with the odd shape of the house. And this is what I came up with. Uh, I think it's pretty good. I, I generally like it, um, even looking at it from the inside. If we go down... inside here. Uh, I got a you know, nice big open area. It's got that nice open feel to it. I'll be able to uh, decorate it pretty well, put the lights up on top, you know, have some uh, chests. I'm still looking at doing some sort of a staircase around here or so. But uh, I figured we'd hit off just some new stuff. Uh, 48 introduces a lot of changes to the way farming is done. And uh, first things first, we need some seeds. So uh, from the fields that were over in this direction towards the Gabbro mine, I'm thinking that's going to be a good place to go and find some uh, some seeds and such by striking down wheat. Haha. <laughs> there are currently 19 different types of seeds. Uh, there's some wild varies varieties of the different types of plants and such. But we're going to do our best to try and collect as many of them as possible. Oh, uh, one other thing that changed is this used to be my uh, seeds, my wheat seeds. I have now enough enough red tree saplings, or red apple tree saplings, to create a huge orchard. And I think I'm going to be taking advantage of that. But for now, I did not bring enough room to actually carry 19 different types of seeds, did I? And this is what happens. So that's nine. Yep, back to the house we go. Hopefully we can find an empty chest to dump most of the stuff into. Going back is always easier because I can just hop in the water real quick. Don't have to climb up anything. Bing, bing. Stack. So we're carrying the gravel around. So there's all the seeds I had in there as well. Nice. Sand. There's our food. Ash and sequoia. I'll put that there. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14, 21, minus 1, 20, plus 1, 21. So, more than enough room. No. Actually, I want a little bit more room than even that, because I would also like to pick up some of the, uh, some of the saplings and stuff from other trees and such while we're out there, is I've only gotten those couple, and while this supply will definitely make an apple orchard very, very nice, I would like the other types of trees as well. So, yeah, I think we're good now. Alright, back onward. And you collect the seeds by knocking down uh, the wheatgrass, or the, the, just the tall grass that spawns like that. 
and I'm going to leave a, quite a bit of it around here because I do kind of like how it looks. But we're going to go find a plains biome. We're going to go start knocking down some seeds. We'll keep an eye out for the trees and such while we're there. And we're also... Ooh, look at the little piggy. We're going to be very respective of... Look at that shadow. It's like four times the size of him. We're going to be respective of the wildlife because we're also going to start breeding some livestock and such. So we're going to be making pens, things like that. I really want to turn uh, that area into a nice big farm. But this is basically what we do. There we go. Carrot seeds. Wild rye. And another one. So I'm just going to start collecting, uh, walking around here. Nice little sprintiness. Be like a nice big lawnmower. See what we can find. And my goal is to actually hope I can get all of them. Barley and onion. Although I'd like uh, <laughs> a lot more grass together would be handy. Not being able to see too far. Let's see if I can pause for a moment. Have it send me the rest of the world to update. I don't know, for some reason my server seems to like to send data to other players besides me. It's the only thing I can think of as to why my world loads in crazily like this. If I'm playing on here on my own, it works just fine for like hours on end. We got uh, Kenta, Dunk, and me done. And it's just doing this to me. Tomato, wild maize, oh, wheat seeds, nice. This way I can tell when I get a new seed. It'll appear down in my bar. If it's something I already have, then it will just go into the stack. I think there's water over that way. Oh, sun is setting. This is going to be an interesting romp. Be a little bit easier. Maybe I should pay attention to my mini bar or mini map a little bit more for now. I keep on aiming towards wide open land. Although, ah, hill. <laughs> Ooh, new seed. New seed. Wild wheat. And oats. I think I had wild oats, didn't I? Nope. So the mini map, as you can see, actually shows me where the grass is and such. So that's why it's kind of handy like that. A little bit easier to see up there than trying to keep track of it all down here. And I played some test worlds last night on 48, and the plains were just completely filled with seeds or with grass. So it's a little odd that the, these ones are so empty. I mean, it could just be that these were explored already. No new seeds. Oh, there we go. Maze. And I did see wild maze. going to keep moving. That should generally keep things off of our back. Getting a pretty nice collection of the seeds and such. 
I actually don't know if you even get the seeds from, uh... I actually don't know if you even get the seeds from... Collecting the plants or not. Because all I know is that this is the way you're supposed to get the starting seeds. We'll see if the, uh, the fields themselves, when we harvest them, will give us the seeds to continue the farming. Or if we need to constantly go out and mow down plains. Yep, stupid spider eye. We got wild oat seeds, I believe. Where did I put the oats? There we go. And rye. Alright, looking on the mini-map. This way. Actually, how far are we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 14. We only need another 5. That's not too bad. Well, to have at least one of every plant. Probably be a good idea to get two of everything. At a minimum. As the random, if it, assuming the crops do drop seeds, if it's still 0 to 3, chances are that 0 is going to come up because random numbers hate me. As they hate everybody. And just like technical side of points, that's because random isn't really random. Uh, random clusters together its results uh, a lot more than people would think. That's why uh, so much time is spent on writing alternative random algorithms and such like that for video games. Oh, can't catch me, spider. See some grass off on the hills over there. Yipes. Alright. And woohoo! <laughs> Back to mowing things down. Going to need to stop and eat sometime soon here, though. Take a moment to munch on some bread. Whew. So it looks like the majority of the grass in this area is down that away. Ooh, fruit tree. Or, well, not necessarily fruits, I mean, it could be the olive tree. It is May year 1006. So apparently, I missed all of winter last night somehow. <laughs> Not exactly sure how that happened. Bounce. Not that, also spring. Hmm. I wonder if when we upgraded, if the, uh... If the time somehow got a little messed up. killing things because I want the uh want to get some saplings off of that tree there. Let's see if they can't get them to come up here. There we go. This will give us a moment to chop. Branches are safe, but I want to get out of here. Let me get rid of those, and away we go again. So I did see a fruit tree off to my left, and I will be over there momentarily to take a peek at it.
looks like it could be another peach tree. And now we're about three fourths through the night. Ooh, looks like we might have found an area where we can find result. remain a mystery. And a mystery it shall be. See if things have calmed down over by that other tree. Nope. Take care of you first. You next. Now we'll back over to here. Crap! <laughs> I want to see what that is. Plum tree, nice. So, grass. Completely surrounded over there. Looks like day is almost upon us. Yay, new seed! Do I have time to peek at it? If I take care of this spider, I will. <coughs> Garlic. Nice. Put the plum over there. One, two, three, four, five. So that was what, 14, 15? Catch me, stupid creeper. <laughs> and in a moment, those are all we'll have to deal with. Let's clear off some of the grass around this tree. Never know which one's going to be holding our secret missing seedling. Oh, that could have almost sucked. Wow, nothing from all that. Well, I think I did get a couple of seeds, but nothing new. I'll take one more stab at it. Oh, glad I came back. The Enderman are just watching me like, what the heck is he doing? So we got some sheep here. a little too far for me to want to bring them back to the house, though. Uh, wild barley, eh? So, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We just need three more. I'm gonna head off and create this. This is probably the tedious part. I hope this is the tedious part about the new farming. Although I do hear things grow incredibly slow. So this is actually probably going to be fairly difficult to maintain a lifestyle of living that most Minecrafters are accustomed to. I mean, I'm burning through my stamina pretty fast, which means I'm burning through my food pretty fast. And with wheat now taking I think like two real days worth of time is the unconfirmed time frame so far. I can actually expect it to take a significant amount of time to actually get any amount of food anymore. Especially when it's this hard to find the seeds in the beginning, we won't be able to build uh, any sort of a large a large area for farming 
we're going to be literally down to just a few crops out of each of them. So I'm actually looking at that huge stack of uh, seeds that I have that are now the red apple trees as potentially the number one food source for now because, you know, it's 300 or, uh, let me see, 64 times 3, 180, 192. Uh, 192 apple trees growing over a couple of years' time would probably yield a fairly large harvest of apples. So I'm hoping that the changes with the farming and stuff are going to be followed fairly closely by food not not uh, being so needed. Is right now you can go through like you know 12 meals a day if you're doing what I'm doing and just running around the uh, running around looking for stuff. But it really doesn't work like that in the real life. So now that the plants are a bit more like that, maybe we'll also see a change in the, uh, the seeds and such. So I think that's just 14. I think I'm just missing one now. So we are getting close. This is what I was more used to seeing in newly generated worlds where there's just lee er, <laughs> grass everywhere. Everywhere. Helps you get your uh, seed collection a little higher. So if you are starting a new world, I'd expect you to have a little bit easier of a time uh, than we're having right now with this. Every seed I see makes me think it's the last one. But then I'm also kind of happy that I'm getting duplicates of ones that I already have. So I'll be able to plant a little bit of a larger farm. Water is going to be definitely an issue though, like irrigation and such. I don't know, with how much it rains, maybe it won't be. So, rice, potato, I'd like a couple of more of them. The other ones I'm happy with, and I'd also like whatever one I'm missing. Really? Oh, <laughs> okay. That's not what I was expecting to find at the bottom of the uh, pond there. actually the update that I've been waiting for the longest. Um, I do like farming. I've been a fan of, like, Sim Farm was an awesome game. <laughs> um, not a fan of Farm Bill, so don't even ask. I also like the Harvest Moon type games and things like that. In, um, the one I can never remember. It's, uh, Animal Town. Or Animal Crossing. I always like the uh, the farming aspects of that one as well, so I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, some good stuff on the forums from people who have already jumped into it. Uh, still missing one, but we have gotten seeds for the other two. But yeah, some uh, good posts on the forums from people who are in charge of the the food supplies and stuff like that. Is they say the added interest and stuff really uh, has helped. Uh, make the thing a little bit more interesting, a little bit more challenging. So, hoping for good things. And why can't I find this last seed? I'm running out of things to ramble on while we're just walking around. Maybe I counted wrong? Isn't that the way it always goes? When you're uh, looking for something and you can't find it, you think maybe you're just missing that you already have it? So I guess we're out of the plains again. I'm gonna head back over this way, it seems to be more grassy. Oh! 
Oh, there it is. There it is. 19 cabbage. Alrighty. So, cabbage, oats. Cabbage is definitely first. Potato, rice, wild rye, carrots, garlic, maize, barley, wild tomato, onion, cabbage, carrots, garlic, maize, onion, tomato, wild barley, oats. Potato element OP QR ST and then wheat. So there we go. Oh, Kenta, don't die like that. Then we have the wild variants, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 variants of the normals and then the wild versions. I actually have no idea what the difference is between these two, but we will figure it out eventually. Oi. Did not notice my frame rate was taking a hit. I wonder why it's doing that. don't think I have anything major running Oops, sorry about that, I'm back just closing things off I thought perhaps it fixed all this, but apparently... Alright, I'm gonna try a quick start-stop. Yeah, it definitely seems to be something perhaps is doing, because I stop, I jump back up to 200 frames. So, I am going to try a quick restart of Fraps and Minecraft, so I will all be ready. Right, I am back. Things seem slightly the same. <laughs> Alright, so I am just going to keep on smacking things on the way back. Uh, I'm actually kind of hoping once I get back out of this area. Oh, hey, look at this, man. I would really love to know exactly what's going on. But we're about 200 away from the Gabbro mine. Even my mouse control is lagging. Oi. Important to keep the health up. When you're running with this much lag or swimming with this much lag. A little bit smoother under here. Um, I know Box has been trying out things to get leave rendering a little bit smoother. So uh, maybe it's just because I'm in the middle of a forest and starting to notice uh, what other people are noticing. This does seem smoother right here though. <laughs> and of course I start lagging as soon as I say that. Alright, gonna look downwards. Little control key, whoa. Your house? Nice. This is not what I was expecting to run into. Seems I've found a ravine. As long as I can get out of it, I will be okay. <laughs> go. 
nice little stone area over there. There we go. Still a little bit more laggy than I would like. Starting to see some familiar trees though. There's all the willows and such from the swamp. My nav points for the materials around my house. I'll say we're about uh, 50 to 100 away. Woohoo, can't believe I made those jumps with all that lag. Alrighty. So we are back, safe and sound, and still laggy unfortunately. It's not going to matter much in a moment, though. That was actually half the day, wow. Safety! And 60 frames per second again. So it's nice and smooth from here on out. Oh. I need to stop talking. <laughs> That's really just so not working. Oi. So, I'm assuming we're going to be needing a hoe uh, to do the gardening and such like that. I need to do a little planning on how we're going to make these seeds and such. So, uh, I wish I could figure out what's up with the frame rate. That would be very handy. Thinking a mushroom farm might also be a good idea. Ooh, more red apple tree saplings. Oh, and of course, somebody has to change game mode while... <laughs> I'm recording. So almost four full things worth of red apple trees. That is going to be one heck of a orchard. And I got a... <laughs> oh yeah, we had to go through and clean up the fields and farms last night for the update. I forgot about that. And apparently there's a zombie that's really annoying back there. So anywho, uh, since I'm having recording issues and there's somebody at the door, I'm going to uh, stop. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode where I'm going to start planting all these things and making the fields and such. But for now, uh, thanks for joining me. And uh, sorry about the previously long episodes. I'm going to try and keep a better eye on them. Um, <laughs> so you... They'll, I know this one's a little bit short, but unfortunately I, I, the rendering issues are starting to become uh, very, very annoying. So, look forward to hearing you guys in the comments. Um, hopefully we'll get, this, uh, we'll get this farm stuff going. So, talk to you guys later.